Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about migrating a multi-tier application to Azure. So let's get into the video. Now real-time projects. Now this is for somebody who is preparing for any interview and they can ask for the scenario based questions over here and guys this is for the open uh, questions over here right because this is more over the thought process rather something that you have to strictly follow over here because it can change from the requirement to requirement over here right so i want you to understand the requirement okay that how you will going to approach to us these kind of the questions over here so there will be real time projects now in the real time project right there's some um, options that can come up in the questions like you're migrating a multi tier application to azure choose an application with a database front end and the middle tier components and migrate it to your azure and taking into account security scalability and cost optimization so there is no specific answers to that this is more over an open ended question will actually if somebody is asking this question they would like to know your knowledge okay so one at a time guys anybody who would like to try that let's say if i need to uh, go for an migration of a multi tier application how we could have approached those kind of uh, you know scenarios over here what are the things that we should be including guys keep some pointers ready okay take your time guys take at least 2 minutes because this is more over the things that you have to include right or put up paper or a pen try to you know put some pointers over here what all things guys that we need to take here we are talking about multi tier application probably two tier or three tier application over here okay now i'll just want to give you a pictorial view guys over here okay mm -hmm. let's say a multi tier application running on the on premises right so on the on premises we have the option either we can use a physical machine or a virtual machine now definitely if you will be creating a public facing application definitely there will be some firewall hosting on a vm right and which will be accepting the traffic and it will be in one of the subnet over here and after accepting that particular traffic right uh, the it will be routing the traffic to multi tier application so let's say one subnet is for front end tier another subnet is for middle tier and third tier over here where will be the databases and you will might have on premises load balances that you have and the solution must be running and in order to make it highly available right definitely it will be more than one service running maybe in multiple data centers or maybe in multiple racks of your on premises over here now we need to migrate this architecture from the on premises to the cloud what all things that we you think guys that we need to include let's understand this over here right best practice over here is totally depends on the business requirement right now the thing is they have suggested you an approach okay and on the basis of the approach what suited your requirement you can pick right and that framework they have named well architected framework i get him a point over here so what approach is let's say you have decided first you have to decide what you would like to pick whether it's a lift and shift microservices architecture or the app service plan on the basis of that there are multiple best practices architecture available right but on the basis what architecture will be best suit for you that you have to decide because you are the one who is deciding the requirement of the application making sense so over here best approach how to create those architecture that you will find over here let's say if i will say azure application architecture for an example okay docs now here you will find the list of architectures that you can be using over here but before using list of architectures you need to understand what are the different let's say i'm going for a big compute model data compute model or the event or microservice architecture accordingly different samples of the designs are available making sense so first we need to understand the requirement over here let's say my requirement is a legacy application definitely there is no point spending time on rewriting the code for the kubernetes and for this app service i can straight away recommend lift and shift for that but let's say somebody has more feature requirement coming into the picture they are also thinking to migrate and they still need to do the work then probably we can do the analysis between the app service plan and the kubernetes and then we can select one of them or somebody is saying that okay enough of dependency execution on the on premises we would like to go with the cloud agnostic in nature blindly we can go with the kubernetes over there because we would like to go with cloud independent so over here right once you have the requirement then on the basis of that you have a best practice architecture available i hope it is making sense
So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if in case you want to have a deeper dive, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on AZ305 certification free class that includes how to prepare for Azure Cloud jobs and along with certification. And in this session, you'll be learning about why you should learn Azure Cloud, Azure Cloud certification roadmap for cloud engineers and architects and a lot more. So if you want to register for the same, then you just have to visit k21academy.com forward slash az30502. You'll be seeing this kind of interface. Just click on book your free seat now, select an event date, enter your full name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes, save my seat. You'll be seeing this kind of link on the extreme right. Add that link to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.